assalamu alaikum in the last video we discussed radiative law of disintegration there we learned that any radiative substance have infinite life when the life period of any substance is infinity then it becomes difficult to study the activity of the radiative element not only that even it becomes difficult to compare the activity of a radiative element with that of another so to make uh, the work easy two terms are introduced one is the half life period and another one is the mean life in this video we will discuss half life period now before going ahead let me tell you what does it say half life period is nothing but the time taken for one half of the radiative element to undergo decay let me write this on board the time taken for one half the radiative to undergo dk to undergo dk here half life period is represented by term t half now suppose a time t equals to 0 0 second if uh, there are n not atoms of radioactive substance present means a time t equals to t half n will turn into n not divided by 2 now let me make it more simple I will give one numerical example suppose uh, there were 1000 atoms present initially at uh, t is equal to 0 second then at uh, after a half life period you will have only 500 atoms left so this is a this is at uh, 0 second this is at uh, half life period so initially we take uh, the value of n as n naught after half life period it has turned into 500 i hope you have understood now i am going to get uh, the expression for t half for that i will start with the uh, radiative law of uh, disintegration what does it uh, radiative law of disintegration say it says that n is equal to n naught e power minus lambda t here n naught is number of uh, atoms radioactive atoms present initially and the n stands for number of uh, the atoms of uh, radioactive substance at any given time and here t is the time and the lambda is nothing but a dk constant i take this as equation number one then Mm. Here, I'll take n equals to n naught divided by two. This is a time t half. When the time is t half, then n will be equal to n naught divided by two. I'm going to use this value in equation number one. Substituting in equation one. So what I'll get if I do so? The plus of n are it n naught divided by two. Then we use an asset e power minus lambda. Then in the place of t, I write t half. Now both sides, the common terms are cancelled. N not n not it can get cancelled. And what do we obtain is nothing but this. 1 by 2 equals to e power minus lambda t half. So here I take the reciprocal of this. Take the reciprocal. 
If I take a reciprocal, taking the reciprocal. Now before doing so, I'll simplify, I'll expand this equation. Half is written as 1 upon e power minus lambda t half. Here minus becomes plus here when it's taken to uh, denominator. Okay. The next uh, Apply this once again e power lambda t half. Now I take a reciprocal of this term. Okay. Reciprocal of the uh, of this equation. So here half becomes two. Well, if I invert this, becomes two. In a similar way, this side. The term present in denominator will go to numerator. E power lambda t half. So after this, now I am going to cancel the exponential term. To cancel exponential term, I will follow the reverse uh, process. The reverse phenomena of uh, the exponential is nothing but log. Okay. So if I take a natural log of 2, natural log of 2, then the exponential term will disappear. Okay, I will have only lambda t half. Here, if we have e as the base, then it stands for natural log. Now, some cases, log of x to the base e can be written as log of x. This is called as natural log. Alright. Okay. Then, now I will convert this natural log into common log. How it can be done? It is too simple. To do so, here it is multiplied with 2.3026. When you multiply 2.3026, then the natural log turns into common log. So lambda t half. Then I write the value of log 2. We you know the value of log 2. It's nothing but 0 0.3010. It is multiplied with the 2.3026. So what I'll get if you do so this side this is the passage. On multiplying these two, I get the value as 0.6. 931. This one to be cut to lambda t half. Here, my aim is to get the value of a t half. So I'll keep a t half one side and remain terms are taken to the other side. T half is kept here as such. And lambda is taken to the other side. When I do so, it goes to the denominator. Okay. I'll rearrange this. To get the, the final expression. So t half is equal to 0 0.6931 divided by lambda. Here lambda is nothing but decay constant. So this is the final expression to get the, the half-life period of any given radioactive substance. Right? Uh, I hope uh, that video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, can you put your questions in the comment section? Thanks for watching.